Okay, this is just a quick refresher course on tagging websites using Delicious, which is an online um, website bookmarking tool. And, um, you know, we're, we all find websites that we absolutely love and that we know we can use, but we don't need it right now. You know, maybe you find a website that would be great for a topic that you teach in May, but right now it's November. And so how do you go about saving all these resources that you find on the web in an organized way and in a way that you can access not just from your school computer and not just from your home computer, but from any computer that you happen to be on at that moment. So once you have the three buttons downloaded onto your toolbar, um, the one you're going to use most often is the tag button, and that's the one that when you find a resource, you can click on it. And um, once you've clicked on it, you'll, you'll notice that the URL is already there for you. The title is already there for you, which you can edit. And then there's a place for you to put any notes that you might have. And this is where you might want to remind yourself what you love so much about this resource or how you were planning on using it in the future. Um, so I'm just going to put something in here. And then you want to, when you go to the tags portion, this is where it's almost like putting a file in a folder. But when you put a file in a folder, you can only put it in one folder. With tags, you're taking that file and you're attaching pathways to that file. So you can attach in many, many pathways to one file. Um, so for this website, I'm going to give one the name Web 2.0, and you'll notice that results come up that um, you've used previously, and so it allows you to maintain consistency within your bookmarking. And when you're doing a tag, if you want to do two words, keep them t together. Don't put a space between the two words. Um, each space represents that the fact that you're going to be starting a new tag. So if, if you want to have a phrase um, like civil war, you want to keep that together. Don't do civil space war because then it's going to tag it as civil and separately as war. Okay, So that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing your tags. Um, once you've gotten all of that typed up, you can hit save and that website is ready for easy access. And if you ever want to see all your um, tagged sites, you just click on this button here, which is takes you right out to the Delicious website. And you'll see over here um, your most recently tagged bookmarks. And then just off my recording screen over here are your top ten, and down below further are all of your tags. That you can just They're alphabetically listed. You can just search through and find the tag that you need, and that will bring up the websites that have that, that has that tag attached to it.